hello friends welcome back to my channel today let us see how to paint a horse in acrylic it's difficult to capture the spirit of your subject when painting an animal let's see some tips and tricks for painting an animal here I have used breast of artistic watercolor paper as usual 150 gsm thickness and black color and uh, the horse is a very pure white color and uh, that's why I have used uh, just titanium white and ivory black for shading and uh, for the gray scale I have used uh, ivory black and uh, this brushes i have used is flat brush size 4 and 8 and round brush 2 and 4 and point brush if you have some background preference always complete the work and then do an outline over the background here i'm not doing any background so directly outlined on the paper uh, if you wish to keep a background then use a flat brush and uh, do a wet on wet method Using a uh, flowing brush stroke in all directions will give you a smooth background. Always better to begin painting with large brushes and switch to increasingly smaller brushes. Doing so will prevent you from getting bogged down with details too early in the process. Why I explain this because I have done just opposite to that like start with detailing too early but never mind as do as your comfort level. And uh, here I'm not preferring any background and it is in plain black. Once you complete the outline, next step is to block in colors. Um, I mean block the outline with co uh, colors using thin paints. But here I started working on each part instead of all blocking with colors. But always better to do uh, uh, blocking first so that uh, you will get a complete idea to go to next level and also the back side of the horse eventually blend with background and you will get all over ideas of color tones as well as you know the head will be the main focus area of a portrait so next part will be working on the head area so better to walk upon the uh, walk upon by developing strong tonal values like for eyes, ears and nose.
Next other important factor is to focus on the shape of the shadows. Use a small round brush to fill the mid tones of the working colors. Here I used gray colors for the shadows. Next to look among the lovely hairs and shadows, use a line brush to sweep in the lovely fine hairs that will make up appreciate fringe, uh, mane and whiskers. 
Then use a small round brush to stipple in flying, uh, fine dark and light lines for the slightly longer hairs and also work upon the hairs about the bridge of the nose and um, uh, yeah then, uh, and finally the tail as well so it will give a complete whole complete eye uh, complete uh, completion of the picture
Hope you enjoyed this video and had fun. This painting is the last one for the 21 days of learning program. And uh, hope you all like this videos uh, and hope it will be helpful. So uh, if you if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and uh, click on the bell icon so that you will get the regular updates. And it means a lot to me uh, also. Uh, we will see some next uh, some uh, simple arts hacks and tricks hacks i mean tips and trips for uh, acrylic paintings in the next session till then bye bye